Do you have a smartwatch like I do? Have you ever wondered why people call them smart? Or why they're so different from ordinary watches? One of the features they have is they can sense motions. It can sense our heartbeats, the steps that we take, or even our position. So, how do they track our daily activity so well? I'm Ellen, a coding teacher from Pravis Nomad. Today, let's talk about how accelerometer works. The accelerometer is a more complex kind of sensor. It measures a number of things at once and is commonly used in phones, laptops, VR controllers, watches, or any devices you can think of. Developers make use of it in apps like Virtual Compass, health trackers, or even games that involve a shaking motion. As the accelerometer sensor reports motion data, which include forward and backward, side to side, and rotational motion. Here you see the XYZ axis representing the three kinds of motions that I mentioned. The sensor makes the creation of simple activity tracking apps or shaking games possible for everyone. Take a look how it works on App Inventor. I will show you the simplest way to implement this function into any app or game. In this game, we want to sense the user's motion of shaking the device and see how fast he or she can reach the goal, which is to fill up the progress bar here. First of all, we find the non-visible accelerometer in the sensor drawer now and drag it underneath the design. Then, we will need to set enabled to true, so when the device is accelerated or shaken, events can be generated. Let's set the condition and result of the game. Drag the events handler which handles the event of the changing accelerometer value, which is the XYZ value. As we have already set the global variable of the count of user's motion, we need to check all the XYZ values during the game. They represent the three dimensional movements that users make. When any of the XYZ value changes, the value will be added into the global count. Now set the response. If the added value reaches the target, which we use 100 to represent here, then the width of the progress bar will also reach 100%, which means the progress bar will turn all green. Finally, we need to set the condition when the game ends. If the value reaches the target, the accelerometer should stop measuring user's motion, so we set enabled to false. This function can be done in many different apps, and the same logic applies on the smartwatch that I mentioned earlier. So, explore accelerometer and tell us what you have done on App Inventor. Give us a thumbs up if you like the class and leave us comments below if you need any help. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and get notifications from us. Stay tuned and hope to see you again. Bye!